And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. We've got a few little isolated showers and thunder showers around, the heaviest of which is right near Delphi right now. This is just north of Battleground, this particular little shower, and also east around Grove. That's kind of moving east here, but this is pretty heavy rain now coming right into Delphi. It's pretty localized with a quick downpour, rumble of thunder coming into town right now, and a few more cells bubbling up here in northern Illinois. These are on the move eastward, so can't rule out a couple of these around this evening or tonight. Can't even rule out an isolated, very random, severe storm this evening or tonight either. Otherwise, we're just going to have some patchy, dense fog around. But the better concentration of any storms this evening or tonight are going to be down here in southern Illinois and southwest Indiana. But these showers and storms all moving southwest. We're down in the southern U.S. These are moving northward, and these are kind of moving eastward. That's the big ridge, the big dome of heat and humidity right in the center part of the country. But it is beginning to contract a little bit, and as it does so, cold front will move south. And with that, we're going to see a complex of severe storms blow up in Iowa later on tonight. That will begin to mature and move our way and bring a wind risk to the area for part of tomorrow. So tomorrow midday, afternoon, severe storms possible, so not a good time to mow then. But decent Wednesday morning, but then it goes downhill in the afternoon to mow due to some showers and storms around. Enhanced risk of severe weather tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. to about 4 p.m. as this bow of severe storms comes out of Illinois. And the best risk is in that enhanced area from south of Morocco, Monticello, down near Rusheville and southwestward. That's the most likely path that this main line is going to follow. Main risk definitely, uh, definitely would be damaging straight line winds. And we'll heat up right before that line comes through to near 91 at the heat index near 100 degrees. And then the line goes through and check up by five. Rain and a little thunder lingering in the east and only 74 at that point. Wednesday, there is a dense fog in the morning with 70 for the low, but an 89 degree high heat index near 96 and a scattering of some showers and storms around. Can't rule out a couple isolated severe storms either. So a few spotty showers and storms this evening, tonight with patchy, dense fog. And then by 1.30 tomorrow, this line of storms coming into our far western fringe, right near the state line. By 3, it's in the heart of the viewing area. By 4, it's in the far east. And then the rain behind it will pull out of here by 6. Could see a few showers tomorrow late evening. And then after the fog Wednesday morning, some additional scattered showers and storms Wednesday afternoon. And then it cools off a little bit. 82 on Thursday, lower humidity, 81 Friday with lows in the 50s. Before we heat up again, it turns muggy Sunday into Monday with some more storms around. So the way it looks right now, the Friday night frenzy looks pretty crisp and comfortable. Oh, that's good. And it's also yeah. good if we can stay safe tomorrow afternoon that we that's get right. some more rainfall too. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. All right, Andy. Well, it's only August.